Devils can take a 4 nothing lead if the power play clicks. You know, Patrick Elias was talking about the last 10, 10 minutes, some things not going well from a Devil standpoint. Is that natural or is that worrisome? Well, that's natural. You know, they know everything's going just fine. Yes, do they make mis mistakes? Sure. Is the other team a good hockey club? Yes. And, and they're going to put some pressure on them and, and make you make mistakes every once in a while. But they're firing on all cylinders, Matt. I, I don't care what it is. I don't care what the shots will go. I don't care what's going on. If you watch these three games, uh, two games in, in two periods, uh, everything is going the devil's way. They feel great about the team. I mean, from the defensive standpoint, I mean, again, tonight, sticks in the lane. They're making big plays. Mavichuk makes a big play with sticking lane, knocking the puck away when it looked like the Ranger was going to have an open net on the rebound off the, yeah. guy, mm -hmm. off the end board. So everything, and they're playing together. Every guy is contributing, doing what they can do, battling, getting in front of pucks, winning battles to lose pucks. So uh, it, it's very, like I said, it's, I've been on the other end as well uh, as the Rangers are right now, and it's very frustrating. You feel you're trying. You feel you're doing the most you can do out there, as much as you can do out there, but it's like a hamster in a cage. You can't get anywhere. And on the other hand, the Devils, uh, they're just feeling very good about the team, but they're always going to say those good. That that's a experienced hockey club and veteran players say, "Oh, we were sloppy that period. We made some mistakes." Because they want to keep striving. Mm -hmm. this is, they're in it for the long haul, and that's what they're thinking. Yeah, they're not thinking about just this series. They're thinking beyond that now. Richard Matvichuk at the beginning of the season had difficulty finding his way, but as the season has progressed, and we see him again tonight playing very strong indeed for the Devils. Now, we've talked about it previously. You're involved in more than just doing some broadcasting. You're a business venture. You're a new health club about to open up. Well, I'm going to ask Lou Amaral to get these new rookies coming in this year to go to my health club in Hoboken, very high end. Uh, it's finally coming. We've got a swimming rooftop pool, overlooks Manhattan, techno gym, high end equipment, little spa in there. The Russian kind of spa fits room where you can come in and uh, have the executive workout mat and uh, go into the cold plunge, get to all the toxins out of your body. So I'm very excited about it. It's been a long process, but yeah, I'm keeping myself busy and it's all about uh, all about fitness, and I'm home to get uh, get myself back in shape, get back into the mode of working out again. So I'm excited about it. It'll be fun. Well, we wish you the best of luck with it. We understand that the memberships are up, but you want more, obviously. You have more room because it's so big, and uh, what a terrific venture. It is. No, I'm excited about it. Like I said, it, uh, we didn't spare any any cost here or any expense. It's a very high-end club, and I think people enjoy it when they when they come see it. You think you'd be able to help out the big dog? Well, I mean, come on, you and Stan, come on. You guys, are, we're all going to get on the treadmill together and... Uh, Discuss what the Devils are going to do in the next round. And the, oh, confident! <laughs> I'm already confident. Go. There you go. And the big. Blue would hate me to say that, but I just feel very comfortable with this team right now. They're just playing extremely well. They're going to be tough to beat. All right, Stan and I will get on the treadmill. <laughs> the big dog, our producer, can watch outside with a cigar and say, "Go, boys!" Well, I was go. Just say, "Roll on!" I can't get on the bikes and uh, smoke a cigar. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't go well together. <laughs> Roland wants us to get a break. He's just tired thinking of somebody else working out. <laughs> Ken Danico's wardrobe provided by Canali. The highlights coming up after this. <laughs>